Let us visualize, work done by this force field, on moving an object along a curve, parametrized by this equation. The formula to calculate the total work done, on moving an object, from point A to point B is this line integral. Here, F is the force vector of the field. T is unit tangent vector, of curve. And DS is arc length. Ok, now, we need to calculate the force vectors, acting on every point of the curve. So, let's evaluate the force field only on curve. Notice how its magnitude, is randomly distributed, along the length of curve. Right now we don't want all the force field. Evaluating force field only on the curve points is enough. Every curve is oriented in space, according to their unit tangent vectors, and normal vectors. To calculate work done, we only need tangential vectors of curve. We can calculate in what direction, those unit tangent vectors are pointing. Just by differentiating the parametrized curve. This is symbol dot product, and it is scalar quantity. Here we are projecting every force vector in the direction of unit tangent vector of curve. And multiplying the magnitude of this tangential component of force, with the small arc length of curve. This gives small work done on infinitesimal arc length. To calculate the total work done, we need to sum up every tangential component of force field, along the length of curve. This is possible only by using integration. Ok, that's some intuitive, definition of work done by force field. Now let's calculate the work done, by using our math tools. First, let's get our vector field and parametrize curve. Calculate, the force field acting only on curve. Now. The definition of work done is We can convert this equation, into parametric vector form. There exists relation between unit tangent vector, small arc length and direction vector, which I won't talk about it here. Now, you can easily calculate, total work done, by simply using this formula. Now, just calculate the dot product and integrate from t equals 0 to 1. 